trumpets keep the beat as 35,000 people march. Fifth Avenue, the stage, red, white, and green, the banner. A lot of pride today, a lot of tradition. Deborah from Napoli watches a lot of parades, but she's partial to this one. She's Italian, born and bred, just like these two. Bola! The heart of Midtown shutting down for this long-standing New York City tradition. Italian pride pulsing through. Now in its 74th year, organizers say the Columbus Day Parade is the largest celebration of Italian-American culture. With a front row seat to the floats and festivities, the crowd of clergy in front of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Some proud Italians themselves. I mean, I think the Italians in America, we, we did so much to build this country. We helped build the country. Family meals and spending time together. Uh, the way Jesus did a lot of his work and a lot of his ministry, and Italians get it. And others Italian by association. Well, about 60 pounds that I'm carrying <laughs> around. There's a joy, there's a real joy in their unity, and we need that. Last year, the festivities fell during a time where there was a lot of controversy surrounding the statue of Christopher Columbus in Columbus Circle and whether or not it should remain there because of Columbus's contested treatment of Native Americans. Ultimately, the city decided it should stay. As he walked along Fifth Avenue, Governor Andrew Cuomo nominated the statue to the National Register of Historic Places. Very religious man. He was a third order Franciscan. He recited the office every day. He had his men pray uh, each day on the ship. So I think this was a real uh, man of faith. This year, the focus recentered around a show of Italian American pride, a parade you don't have to be Italian to appreciate. Michelle Powers, Currents News.